hi guys welcome back to my channel and uh, for today's video i'm gonna uh diy the wedding uh gown for not a wedding gown it's uh the mom my mom's uh wedding gown for my sister's wedding is it right so yeah so this is uh i think this is a vintage uh gown dress um my aunt and my aunt gave it to my mom i think she bought it or it's her whole old clothes or she bought it from the trip store so i don't know how much i have to ask so but the, this is the one so um my idea is to first dye the uh dye everything because the uh the motif of my sister's wedding is terracotta more like rustic brown it's fall uh, for september and then this is the dress so it's nice because it's uh embroidered uh in a chiffon dress i think so i'm going to mix a color i'm not gonna show you here anymore how to dye but uh in order to dye you can just google everything on how to dye a cloth so you need vinegar salt and the dye for fabric so there and then boil it so i'm gonna do it and i'm gonna show you afterwards and uh, what i'm gonna do because uh the waist here is a little bit bigger for my mom so i'm gonna trim here and i might put a slate and then bedazzle everything put some swarovski adjust everything because this is a little bit big and it, it's big on my mom i'm gonna show you before and after the picture from my mom okay that's it i'll I'm be back, back guys so here's the finished product after i dyed it with um uh the fabric dye so what i used Welcome back guys so this is the uh finished uh product from dyeing so i use this to read the brand and uh, i use coral and camello camel color this is an all-purpose dye tint uso general this is for cotton wool nylon and more so this is the results from this uh, the off-white that you see earlier so i'm so excited to um adjust this so if you can see here at the back i already pinned because this is a little bit bigger uh size for my mom so what i will gonna do is just stitch it at the back stitch it at the back so there and then here so this is i already tried to be dazzled it with uh this one later i'm gonna show you more when i do this i use this uh, rhinestones this is a flat rhinestones uh and then i use the b7000 to glue it so this is the effect it's really nice it's shining shimmering splendid so as you can see the details uh what is what i like about this because of the embroidery of the uh, chiffon i think I, it's a lace uh lace fabric and then with the embroidery with the fabric earlier with the original color it doesn't you know really emphasize the the embroidery by the way my aunt told me that she got this from a thrift store ukay ukay kundito they call it ukay ukay here a thrift store this is only nine dollars imagine now what happened so yeah i'm also gonna um trim the the skirt inside so that it will look modern so as you can see here the lining so i already if you can see it's a little bit see-through here and then i'm gonna trim also the lining uh on the sleeve so that it will look modern and it will look balanced because if not if i'm gonna remove it it's also nice but i pinned it here where is that where is the pin though oh i pinned it inside let me check so if you're gonna let it go like this so there and I also pin it somewhere here. Oh God, 
gosh, where is that? I think that's a needle, not a pin. So there you go. You see, the lining is longer. I mean, yeah. So I'm gonna shorten it up, like below the knee or above the knee. So that's it. Okay, so I'm gonna sew the back. And then I'm coming back. So here we go guys after the alteration from the waist see that snatched already compared to the other one that is not yet been uh, done so I already trimmed the skirt it's already modern the skirt is already uh, trimmed and I also uh, trimmed the uh, um, what do you call this the sleeves uh, the lining of the sleeve so it's a little bit see-through modern ready so time to style it right now I'm gonna show back, it to guys. you guys welcome back so this is the I got this uh, belt from uh, Amazon this is around $15 I think so $15 is only uh, 750 pesos so there so I'm gonna style it that way and then tie it from the back I'm not sure if I can also um, sew it maybe we'll see about that so I'm gonna tie it ribbon but this is also nice that uh, you know just tie it so that you can use the belt on some other dresses so I'm gonna show it to you there you go love it right love the dress right now it's so modern and elegant now i'm gonna show you also how i do the stone i mean the bedazzling i mean uh, to uh, to um glue the rhinestones so let me just get Welcome back guys so i'm gonna show you how i did so you need a uh, b7000 and some rhinestones this is champagne i think in color so what I did earlier, just uh, try to uh, put, I mean, apply the glue. For example, I'm going to show you here and then here. I'm only doing it on the, uh, planning is all, only on the top of the dress. So that it will be simple, only not too much too. So I have here and here and here and here. So we'll try that first always close it then we'll get the rhinestone so this is the rhinestones i have some tweezers here i don't know if that works or maybe kamay kamay na lang ta like i did earlier so just put it there you go see so we'll start from the biggest muna oh yes I'll just do the bigger. Yeah. Because it's dull when there's no rhinestones. I hope my mom will like it. Because she's very simple, you know, lady. There. So there are the rhinestones. There. Okay. Remove this rhinestones and another rhinestones and another one here. And then we'll go to the smaller version here. It's two and more. And the rhinestone is only, I think, six dollars for six hundred six thousand pieces already. That's a lot. See, there's so, one point five mm, one two mm, one and uh, to six mm. So here, 
see that I already applied the rhinestone so I'll do this everything I'm sorry I lost you um I'll do everything on the um mga flowers only so that it will be simple so I'll do it on this side I'm gonna show you one more time before I'll end the video and I'll show you the end product so here it's easy to use I love this kind of glue because it's really easy to work with and it's you know it has a, like a needle uh, type of um, edge and I'll do the rest later so let me put now please the rhinestones let's start here and then move here and then move to the other side it's easy guys this is an easy DIY just imagine for nine dollars and I added the belt for how much is the belt maybe fifteen dollars and then what else the die for six dollars or twelve dollars because there's two die I mix the camello and um what else camello and uh, coral the color that's it this is what you got this color of terracotta to achieve that terracotta it's a caramel and caramel and um what do you call this caramel and coral so that's it guys see it's so nice right simple but you know very very nice so you just press it a little so it won't it will secure with the glue that's what I can suggest there you go and I'm gonna also do it here below one two three four five six seven eight same and I'll get back so to guys, you guys this is the final dress for my mom okay for my sister's wedding on September so here you go I styled it with a belt if you can see the old uh, uh, the previous dress uh, number, to start with we bought this I mean not we bought I mean my aunt bought and my mom went to a thrift store this is only nine dollars okay the dress is nine dollars if you see from the er earlier video video it's uh, I think uh, I mean Beijing collar or white and now i dyed it to be a terracotta because terracotta is the motif for my sister's wedding there and i used uh two products from rit ca cam ca caramel camel and the coral so there so this is the dress other uh, dress so i sold it with uh i bought it amazon this is a wedding belt so it's nice because it's with pearls, very formal, and with diamonds here, with lace also. So I also sewed, I mean, tried to uh, adjust it. There's a lining here for the sleeves before. I removed it so it would be modern, and I also uh, cut the skirt so that it will be modern. So the shoes for my mom here is... I believe it's uh, crystal or champagne and then I also um, bedazzled it I mean bedazzled is that the correct term so I also uh, put rhinestones so color champagne to match so I only did it on top I'm also gonna finalize everything I'm gonna ask my mom if she wants it on her sleeves because I don't like to overdo it maybe she'll not gonna wear it so there so this is how you DIY uh, thrift store ukay ukay um, dress. So from nine dollar uh, nine dollar dress, now you rate it. 
how much will you pay for this dress if if it's a designer dress i think this will cost like a thousand for me i'm gonna charge if i did this dress and everything from scratch um i'll this is a thousand dress or less yeah but it's nice perfect all right thank you guys for the support and love bye